Hello. <laughs> it's Thursday, the 7th of March 2019. Uh, it's just gone 5 o'clock in the morning. Nope, it's just gone 4 o'clock in the morning. This is MB05. I'm off to Worcester. It's fresh and it's breezy, but it's dry. And it's quiet. With the car park sign in the middle and the premium behind, parked over by there, staying there, and ooh, canoe, swans, hint of red sky, a rather nice bridge. This is going to be a good day, he says, hopefully. Good news, I found hot boards just around the corner from Costa. Costa's gonna have my bacon roll. I'm starving. And up that way, be spoons. Some really nice architecture here. And it open. And we're off. And the good news is Gloucester Brewery. Six malt quarter. 4.5% alcohol by volume, multi layers, fruity hops, and find vegan friendly. Let's say 4.5, 4.5. Bit of carpet. And that lorry through the window is the Dray lorry. There are deliveries. So, breakfast menu. New magazine with the beer festival on. Shall I say complex or shall I say a lot going on here? Fruity, malty, a little bit smoky, a fruity burnt note bitter finish. Be plus in a bit, um, which is 3.25 on my I'm a hard marking system. Right, according to this, I've got 23 minutes of video left. And I've got lots of beers to drink. Oh, one ninety nine a pint. Minus 50p, camera voucher. Reading Private Eye. Drinking a pint of Shag Weaver by North... North Cotswolds Brewery? I think so. Anyway, 4.5% alcohol by volume in the great British tradition of double entendres. Probably named after the bird. Um, I can't rest my nose. Mm. Sweet and malty. With just a hint of bitterness. Basically, sweet and malty. B plus. Update. This is uh, Highgate Old Ale from Davenport from Birmingham. We are in the West Midlands. 5.3% alcohol by volume. Um, the Firefly doesn't open until 3 o'clock this afternoon, so it's now 20 past 11. Finish this, go for the plough, stay there until like just before 2, check in, and then uh, hop loads. Anyway, what's it taste like? Yeah, shall so phrase your neighbour. Mm. Slightly sweet, slightly nunky, malty, and just a hint of burnt notes and bitterness in the finish. B plus. Oh, actually, quite a lot of bitterness in the finish. And 5.3% alcohol by volume. Mm. Said bag puss. <laughs> okay, I wondered why he was so cheap. Because he swapped the hot dog for chips, forgot to order barges. However, I'm going to go with it. Because it came in, in about three and a half minutes instead of ten. It's a bit blustery. And so here's my problem, which is Yeah, that's it. 
I'm on 18 minutes now. This is IPA from AJ Ailes, 4.6% alcohol by volume. And if you're watching in Finland, no flies here. Mind you, it's pretty close to snow. Food for tomorrow. Could be lunch. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, Fruity, bitter, a little bit tropical. Refreshing. Be more refreshing if it was sunny out, but what can you do? Nice, long, bitter finish. B plus and a bit. It's not actually from the Ludlow Green Co. Although, I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, it's I'm from sure neither. K-I-N-Z-E-R, uh, probably pronounced That's slightly not. differently. Up, Everyone has a West Midlands accent here and I've got a Welsh accent. This is half centurion, 5% alcohol by volume. 16 minutes left. Mr Manning, flags and um, this is real wood. <laughs> yeah. mm. Sweet, malty, a gentle bitter finish, but goes on. Yeah, getting the bitter finish now. I'm thinking take down. Yeah, this could be good. Anyway. From Newcastle, Wyland, Match uh, Yato. That's probably ruined. Anyway, um, Porter, coffee, 6.5% alcohol by volume, Newcastle upon time. I'm not going to argue with that. Ooh, good for it, Mr. Manning. Oh, and um, coffee, sweetness. That's all I've got for a message. Oh, huge. Really strong. Strong as in lots of flavour, as opposed to lots of alcohol. B plus in a bit. Not only is this wonderful. This is a 2018 wonderfulness, and this is 6% alcohol by volume. And, yeah. <coughs> Dry, fruity. Oh wow. It's not for the inexperienced. You have to. Yeah. Extremely tart, sour, acidic. A minus. Again. Yeah, this is great. 